guys how I was able to kind of create the pattern for this cover up. I thought it'd be best just to show it to you on my dress form. Uh, this is my ditto form. It is the exact dimensions of my body. You definitely don't need to have a ditto form or any dress form to make this. It does make it a little bit easier. Um, so maybe grab a second set of hands, but other than that, you should be able to kind of throw this together on your own. So let me talk you through kind of the construction of it and how it all works. And then um, I'll show you how I was able to do it. So first of all, we have our neckline here. This is a braid trim that I created from the fabric. So basically I cut off one long strip of fabric, cut that into three pieces and then braided all of that together to create this neckline. I tried it on where the um, center point of the neckline when it was pulled down hit me at a comfortable spot on my chest, which is just a few inches above my um, full bust. And then in the back, the trim continues around to the back and then goes into this longer straight piece. This piece here is eight inches finished. So add an inch to uh, finish off the top, which is simply just wrapped around the necklace portion of the braid trim and then um, stitched to closed there. Okay, so from there, this is how the fabric portion, the main portion of the garment comes together. I'm gonna pull in this other fabric that I have just to kind of show you how I did it. So you're gonna take your yard, yard and a half of fabric. The wider, the longer your fabric is, the more drapey it'll be down here on the side. So if you really like this drapey look, make your fabric cut longer. One and a half yards, two yards um, would probably get you a really pretty drape through there. Then you're gonna take it <clears throat> and you are gonna wrap it around your body and you are going to match up the ends like so and right sides together, you are gonna stitch, I don't know, I have about a foot here stitched closed completely, right sides together just to cover your bust and then everything below that kind of drapes open but once you have that stitched closed, then you just take that portion of fabric and you wrap it around the front of your braided trim, like so. And it creates this really pretty gathered, almost kind of like a casing, but not really. And then you just stitch a few stitches along here and the front is now secured. Like I was showing you in the back, all that happens is in the back is you have your fabric wrapped around your body like I just showed you right wrapped around to the front so it looks something like this and then you just take that center back and you tack it on to the end of your braided trim here and that's what holds up the back other than that you don't have any stitches at all all along the side seam there is no side seam it's just all your fabric just wrapped around your body, doing the drape thing like it just naturally wants to do, and creates this really pretty kind of like Grecian style swim cover up. Super cute. I chose a very, very, very thin sheer fabric for mine. The heavier your fabric is, the less like drapey and floaty it'll be. So just keep that in mind. You don't want anything super hot and sticky at the beach or the pool anyways. So lighter, drapier is always better for something like this. So you get the really pretty draping here. Mm -hmm. 